Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we're gonna discuss about the subject that is AFM, that is Accounting for Management. So in this video, I will clearly discuss about the whole subject, what is the question paper pattern and what are the problematic methods you need to learn and as well as the what are the theory questions they may ask for long everything, each and every topic we will discuss in this video all you need to do is don't skip the video and watch till the end then only you will understand the concepts which i am explaining in this video if you skip the video means you will not at all get anything because what in middle of the video i will discuss about the how you should present your answers in the booklet etc etc so it will be helpful for your uh, you are only okay so this subject is having in your mba first year first semester so as this year that is 2024 your syllabus has been changed as well as the question paper pattern also changed everything we will discuss in this video first we will go with a, a question paper pattern so it will give your uh, understanding about the question paper okay so in part a you will have five questions each carries two marks that is common in every subject okay and coming back to the part b from sixth question to tenth question it will be there in each question you will have internal choice like a or b any one thing you need to attempt it either it may be a problematic or it may be a theory okay so as it is a problematic paper try to give 80 percent priority to problematic only so give 20 percent of theory if you learn only theory if you will not at all get any uh, passing marks in this subject okay you need to be perfect at least two units of problematic okay so if you are a bcom student in degree it will be easy to score secure good marks in accounting uh, so non-accounting students like bsc background students it will be a little bit difficult to understand the concepts okay so part c that is a case study you will have so every this year it is included in your question paper so this case study you will not at all having any important questions in this video so this 10 marks part c in part c is purely dependent on you only so you need to be understand you need to study the case or you need to write the answers okay so no important questions for this part c okay now we will discuss important methods unit wise what you will learn from unit number one you need to learn journal entries ledger and trial balance out of these three methods they may ask one problematic question compulsory for long okay so they may ask journal entries or else ledger or else trial balance it's their wish okay so journal entries is the most important so try to learn journal entries problematic from unit number one and unit number two you are having only two problematic methods that is depreciation and final accounts final accounts you are as you all know trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet and in depreciation you are having two types of depreciation methods straight line methods written off or diminishing method okay so diminishing method or written off method they will ask in long so try to be perfect with these two type of problematic method from unit number two which you will secure eight marks okay from unit number three ratio analysis or else financial statement analysis they may ask for problematic okay so like ratio analysis you will have like profit ratio neo ratio like this type of ratio formulas you will have you need to be perfect with that formulas if you are perfect with that formulas only you will attempt this unit this unit is little bit confusing and typical to understand but you need to be work on on it work hard on it okay and uh, from unit number four for long compulsory they will ask problematic question for cash flow statement this is an easy chapter you can easily understand the cash flow statement all you need to do is you need to understand the pro pharma so if you are perfect with pro pharma then you can easily understand the problematic method from unit number four so try to be perfect cash flow statement from unit number four and unit number five that is you are having three problematic methods means for example uh, two questions you will get in your long right uh, so either may, it may be a theory or it may be a problematic so cyp not it's not the cyp it is cvp analysis like bp you are having pv ratio break even point like this type of problematic so material and labor give for choice okay so learn cvp analysis only 
and now we will discuss the theory important questions so if you want to theory give chance to theory means this is the important questions according to me uh, like don't give uh, learn any theory questions for long ma so because if you are attempting a theory questions in long also they may not allot you full marks okay out of eight marks you will get only six or five marks or else maximum six and a half or six marks only because uh, mistakes will be there and they will not allot full marks for theory so try to understand it if you want to learn theory only means it's up to you so this is important questions i have not assured that whether theory questions will come in examination or not but problematic methods will come so if you are perfect with problematic you can easily attempt the uh, theoretical questions also okay so journal entries trial balance final accounts depreciation ledger accounts all these explanation videos are available in our channel so playlist also is there explanation video so just check out in our channel it will be helpful for you to understand the concept okay i have explained that type of videos also if you want means you can search in our channel and from unit number three uh, long theory questions i have given only three questions so try to be perfect with these three questions means like what are the different techniques used to analyze and interpretation of financial statement and what do you mean by common side statement analysis and what are the purpose for doing it okay why we'll do that common size statement analysis you need to be perfect and uh, advantages and limitations of ratio analysis is also an important questions like objectives of ratio analysis is also and repeated question okay so from unit number four i have given only two questions like pro pharma of caution if you are a bcom student in a fifth semester already you have learn the cost sheet right so that only you will have and cash flow statement advantages and disadvantages what are the advantages we will have in cash flow statement and what are the disadvantages we will have in cash flow statement preparation you need to be right okay if you are attempting theory question for long means try to write at least three sides of answers in your booklet then only you can score good marks like uh, it is not possible because time duration is less but try to write at least two sides of answer it will be helpful for you to gain more marks okay from unit number five i have given three questions again what is make or buy decision and what do you understand by break even analysis and what are the assumptions and limitations of cvp analysis so try to be perfect with these three theoretical important questions from unit number five whatever the important questions i have given for theory is 50 50 because uh, it may come or not basically it's a problematic paper you should not expect any theory type of questions uh, in uh, problematic okay so passing marks is like 25 or 26 or 24 so question paper whole question paper consists of only 60 marks so case study is in your hands if you are perfect with long two marks questions you can easily attempt by your own like what is mean by depreciation what is mean by financial accounting like this type of questions only they will ask no need to worry about the short questions okay just prepare about the problematic questions very well all the very best for your examination as well as the preparation so in our channel already i have explained the problematic methods like i have as i have said journal entries ledger as well as the trial balance final accounts depreciation everything i have explained so if you having time means if you want means check out in our channel i have uh, i think i have playlist also so just check out in our channel so all the very best for your examination